Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, I'm in a new location for a little while. We have reached the second leg of our holiday and we are in a place called Airlie Beach. We're actually outside of the tourist area, Airlie Beach. Um, the three and a half hour drive here was uneventful, but when we got here, we became a little perturbed because one, there was no one here to tell us where we were staying. And two, they also didn't tell us there's no phone signal here when we booked. So we had to drive back into town and try and raise the owners of the place. And after some toing and froing, we are finally in our accommodation, which was not quite what we expected. But anyway, we're here now and I've had a shower and I'm nice and relaxed. So on the three and a half hour drive here, I had an idea. Earlier in the year, I said I would do some mini make-alongs along the way and the year is coming close to an end and I haven't done one. So I came up with this idea. Let's do a make-along for September. It is called Scrap Timber AU. So basically, this is what you have to do. First of all, at the end of this video, make sure you read all the rules in the description because the usual rules will apply. It's open worldwide. You must be over 18 years of age. Um, da -da -da -da. It's not affiliated with YouTube. All those rules will be in the description below. But the rules of scrap timber are you must use 150 yards or 140 meters of scrap yarn. It doesn't have to be one colour, it can be a variety of colours as long as it measures or is approximately 150 yards or 140 metres. Like we all have these partially used balls of yarn in our stash. Some are smaller, some are big and they need to be used up. So they need some love and they need to be used up. So that's what scrap timber is about. So for example, an adult beanie in a basic pattern will take 150 yards. A standard washcloth takes 95 yards. So I would be looking for two um, smaller washcloths or one extra large washcloth. A coaster takes 45 yards. So I would be looking for three or four coasters to be made. I think you could probably make about five hair scrunchies from 150 yards. Anyway, that's what I would be looking for. And how do you enter? Well, you take your scrap yarn and when you've decided what you're going to use, you take a photo of your scrap yarn. You make your project and then you take a photo of your finished project and you email both those photos to me. The email address will be in the description below. Now you can also put in the email that you um, give me permission to use the photos on YouTube in a photo montage or on Facebook in our make along group or on Instagram. But if you don't want to do that, give me permission, you're quite welcome to post your own photos, but please use the hashtag ScrapTemberAU. That will be in the description below so you know how to spell it. ScrapTemberAU so we can see what you have made or others can see because I will have to see them. So there are two prizes that will be picked at random using the YouTube random comment picker. The first person out will receive a $25 gift voucher. Now that could be to Amazon or wherever. It depends on where you live in the world because remember, it's open worldwide. The second prize will be a $10 pattern purchase either of Etsy or Ravelry. You can pick patterns up to the value of $10, the second person that wins, and I will pay for them and they will be emailed to you in a PDF form. They are the two prizes for our Scrap Timber Make Along. Now, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. I make lots of scrap yarn projects, generally a lot of blankets. But you only have to use 150 yards or 140 metres. And it will be interesting seeing what you come up with. I can't wait. 
And I hope all those ladies and gentlemen who taking part in the birthstone make along would like a little extra make along and to have a break using up some of their scrap yarn no doubt they have left over so guys it opens september the first it closes at midday on 30th of september eastern standard time australia now you must check the closing time in your area because if you live in the Northern Hemisphere, some of you, that will be the 29th of September. So remember, it opens 1st of September, gives you a day or so to get ready, to sort your yarn and take a photo, and then you can start your project. And closes 30th September, midday, Eastern Standard Time, Australia. And sometime after that, I will do a video showing the random draw for two winners. I hope you enjoy this mini uh, make along and jump in and have a bit of fun. They're small prizes, small make along, but I'm sure it'll be interesting and fun. So guys, take care, stay safe and remember life's an adventure and it's time to have a scrap yarn adventure. Bye for now.